Hi, I'm Kara. You're watching Really Famous, where I have real talks with actors from your favorite TV shows and movies. Today, I'm talking to Christopher Knight. That's right, Peter Brady. Um, we have a really interesting conversation, so you will want to stick around for this. And if you want more, there's a full podcast. I'll leave a link in the description below. Which question are you sick and tired of answering? You know, it's that's it's a tough answer because I don't. I no longer live in those, you know, there's going to be repetitive after 50 years, there's going to be a lot of repetition. And uh, I, I, I've come to recognize that. So I'm not sure that I, you know, it's irritating to me, like it may, may have once been, but you know, people want to know if we, if we're friends, you know, um, it's a pretty innocuous and honest question, but yeah, I mean, I'm not really sick of hearing it, but it's one I hear an awful lot and um, okay. we're friends. We're friends. All of you are friends. All the six of us are friends. Well, you know, at least from my point of view. Okay. If there was one cast member that you could spend more time with, maybe the person lived next to you, who would you like that to be? Oh, that's a tough one. Um, never have enough time with Mike, yeah, he's uh, he's been up in Utah forever. Uh, love to spend more time with Mike. Barry's now in Missouri, so don't get to see him that frequently anymore. And Eve is in New York, so she's probably the person I've seen the least. So I'll make it Eve. Okay. I'm sure you've been asked this before, but I'm going to ask it again. What's your favorite episode and your least favorite? Well, my least favorite. Um, because... Can I answer? I know what it is. I bet. Okay, what? The singing one. Which one? Yes, we oh. did a couple of those. Okay, so I would guess it's time to change. When it's time to change, you've got to rearrange. Because last time you told me you absolutely hated the singing issue. Right on the money. Because I thought they were making fun of my inability to carry a tune. Uh, and so what they did is they, they invented a very special way to avoid me having to sing and then point it out. And I thought a, a cruel kind of, you know, way. And um, I hated that episode. I okay, hate so doing that episode. The episode is works, though. The episode, you know, if you watch it as an episode, it works. But... I hated it for what went on behind, you know, in my little brain at the time, since I was, um, you know, I'm okay with not being able to sing. Um, I'm not okay with everybody always asking us to. What was your favorite episode? I don't think I know the answer to that one. It's the, for the same reasons. It's the experience of doing it in Hawaii because we got to go to Hawaii. Okay, good. Okay. And what's the best kept Brady secret? There, there isn't a secret. There is no Brady secret. Okay. Absolutely none. After 50 years, it's all out. Okay. So moving on from the Brady's, what is one of your guilty pleasures? Um, one of my guilty pleasures, like, uh, Hmm. Guilty pleasures. That's a tough one. I, I might, you know, I may, I mean, sitting back and, and literally sleeping in till noon is a guilty pleasure. Okay. Uh, uh, which, which is something I'm finding myself uh, getting closer to every day with this pandemic. You know, I wake up later and later and then binge watch something the night before that causes that. So uh, the guilty pleasures are binge watching whatever it might be at the moment and um, binge reading the news and then sleeping in till noon. Okay. And Being what, lazy. Okay, good. What's one of your pet peeves that you can't stand? Small, a small something. I do not like it when things are in a workspace are left out and in the way. I have to you know, and my desk is a complete mess, but that's because it doesn't really require a whole lot of 
moving things about, but a clean workspace. I hate things like I like to cook, but everything has got to be kind of uh, in order. I'm an okay. ordered kind of guy. I got too much ADD not to be, you know, I mean, everything's a distraction. To me. If you invited me over to dinner with you and Kara, what would you cook for me? Well, I happen to make a really good pork chop, um, a little Tuscan. And I'd, uh, I'm, not, I'm not a big fan of applesauce, but uh, I have a version made with kimchi that works pretty well. And uh, so I'd probably make you a pork chop. That is, if we could get pork, I, you know. Um, if not that, then um, I may just figure it out by looking in the refrigerator and seeing what we got. Nice. Depends. It depends on if you were invited over, if you just dropped in. What if I just dropped in? That's in there. I'd have to make it up, wouldn't I? Okay. That's what I, that's what I do for me. That's my favorite kind of cooking. It's like, you know, you don't plan for something out of the blue. It's like, okay, what do I have and what can I do with it? Okay. What was the first make and model of the first car you drove? that I drove that I learned to drive in or the car, my first car. The one you picked, you bought yourself or somebody well, gave you. It was a Ford Courier pickup truck. I put and a shell on it and I made it like a little van. Who is your first celebrity crush? I have to say that it probably was like, um, Like Fair Fawcett, um, Jacqueline Bissett, uh, uh, um, Diane. Uh, no, not Diane. Uh, Cheryl. Um, Cheryl Ladd. Was Cheryl Ladd, not Diane Ladd. Yeah, Cheryl Ladd. <laughs> okay, if you could pick, and then of course working with. Working with uh, Charo, she became a crush. <laughs> what was that, the love boat? No, I was with her is on our variety hour. Oh, no, no, oh. I, it was a, our variety hour. We're at Fair Fawcett for that matter too, met her. Oh, you know, wait a second. I'm gonna scratch all that. And I didn't know she was my first crush, but after meeting her, I was absolutely enthralled and thought she was the most beautiful woman I'd ever seen. And that was Nellie Wood. Nice. Amazing. What cracks you up? Uh, <laughs> my cats crack me up. He's uh, you know, he's, I have a dog like cat. He, 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 he drags things around like that as his little toys. He's probably grabbing another right now. And he'll bring them to me and drop them off and make all this racket like he just killed it. And he'll keep doing that. And then, you know, there's like six or seven of them. You'll find them all lined up over the course of an hour. I'll go back downstairs and then over the course of the next couple of hours, he's dragging them back downstairs. I don't know what they are, you know? I mean, I don't know if they're his babies, but I do believe, I, you know, I think it's, they're, they're his kill. These Maybe. Little stuffed carrots and an eggplant, a bell pepper. He stole them, he made them his. Drags them all over the place. What's and the it first, cracks me up. What's the first thing you do when you wake up in the morning? Well, Kara has, um, makes me coffee and cuts up some fruit and brings it to me in bed. So the first thing I do in the morning is I kiss Kara and thank her and, and then eat some fruit. And I don't know what it's gonna be, but there's um, at our store, maybe many stores that part of the produce section that has all the exotic fruits on it that you walk by all the time and probably wondered what the inside of that looks like or how do you prepare that or what is that well she goes through that whole produce section and buys fruits and has now so she's probably got no anything left to discover 
um, and buys one of those fruits and that'll be part of my fruit array on some days. Something completely unusual. I'll, I'll eat anything. There has only been one fruit that uh, was um, not to my liking. It was, I can't even remember. I, I don't know what it was. A chamora. It was something really kind of like, well, it was sour snot is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> sour and snot like it was kind of like i was thinking there must be some other way of uh of preparing it to make it uh more palatable yeah that sounds gross. other than that though I, I look forward to everything she brings me do you remember your dreams meaning your dreams Not really you sleep at night uh not often. No, I couldn't tell you what I dreamt last night. It'll dawn on me, but when focused on it and trying to pull it back, I just like, you know, sometimes on, a, on, on occasion, there'll be one that is very real. But I like, I can't tell you what I dreamt last night. And do you have a recurring dream that you have maybe once a year or like every couple of years that you are like, yes, I've had this before? No, I mean, I did when I was a kid, you know, flying, always flying. Uh, but no, I, I don't really have that one anymore. Okay. I know okay. Kara's got one. My, my wife has got one that's hysterical, but that's hers to just, you know, to divulge. So, but it's, a, it's, you know, I think we talked about it last night, her recurring dream. It's um, very How funny. Interesting. Okay. We'll have to, I'll have to record that with her separately or something. <laughs> what's the last thing you do at night? What's the thought that's in your brain as you're falling asleep? Where's the gold? They got to find the, the, the gold. Cause I'm watching some, yeah, I'm watching, you know, mystery of Oak Island, you know? And so they dragged me through six seasons. They still haven't found all the gold. That's what I'm thinking. Where's the treasure? Where is it? Where could it be? And when their season's over, there'll be, uh, you know, World War II gold, Civil War gold. Where's the gold? And not because I'm interested in the gold. I just don't want to know how it got there. No. That's perfect. Thanks for everything. And we'll be in touch. Thank you, Kara. <laughs> Thank you, Chris. Good luck. That was Christopher Knight. I have much more with Chris if you want to hear it and watch it. I have another video that we recorded from his home in California last spring, and I'll put a link to that in the description below as well as up here. I also have a full length podcast with Chris, so I'll put a link to that in the description below as well. In that talk, we get super in depth about a ton, so you wanna check that out. If you like this video, please make sure you smash that like button. It really helps. All the love is good. And uh, make sure you subscribe as well. So tap the subscribe button and the little bell so you're notified every time I have a new talk with your favorite celebrities. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Kara.